What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. Uh, today we're working on Collins 240. So he's done a bunch of stuff on the interior already. Got a new carpet in, basically prepping to get these new seats in and stuff. As you guys can see, we got a couple of seats, harness bar, we got our mounting brackets, and harnesses as well, which are gonna be going in. But everything from Braum Racing, so shout out to them. Colin got a little sponsorship deal with them, so pretty much got like their full catalog of stuff. And then, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna be working on today. So. We'll kind of give you guys the rundown um, as far as mounting everything. So we're going to start out with the uh, the harness bar first and then that seems to be the easiest way to go about it. And then we'll do uh, get to mounting the seat brackets and stuff and see where everything lines up. But we'll show you guys kind of the process of it and uh, where everything mounts up to and then go from there. So we'll kind of do like a little, probably won't see too much as we're actually doing it, but We'll try and give you an overview just so you guys can uh, figure it out if it's something you're going to do yourselves. So as you guys can see, these pieces, they just sit like this. This is where we're going to be mounting up to where the seat belts are. Um, they do have a little play in them when you tighten them all the way down. But we got the bolts for the seats that are going to be going in where the seat belts were. So we're just going to match everything up and then once it's in, we'll show you guys how it sits. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, your one mounting point is where your seatbelt mounting point would be. So basically, seatbelts pop off and it goes directly back into that hole. Uh, we reused the same bolts that the seatbelts were being held in by. So it's got like this little, uh, I don't know if you guys can see here, but there's like a little rubber spacer behind it to push it out. And then the bar that mounts here, um, so the smaller side of the um, bar itself mounts the inside here. You'll see like, if you see the bar, basically this piece up here is smaller than this thicker piece that's down here. But we took the side panel off the plastic panel here. Um, it's gonna mount here. And the plan right now is to pretty much put the panel back in place. We're gonna see where it mounts up to and how this pole sits exactly so that we can take some measurements and then uh, basically drill a hole through the panel so that we can still have the panel in place while having the harness bar in place. But right now we're just going through hardware stuff trying to find exactly what, what bolts we need to go into there but these are your two mounting points here behind this panel and then here where your seatbelt would normally go. So we got the harness bar all set in place. As you guys can see we made our little holes here in the side panels keep that OEM kind of look but came out pretty clean honestly for first time just going for it but looks good all right so we got the sliders going on to the bottom of the seats pretty simple but basically let me show you guys these inside pieces um, what you can see here but basically there's a little push button release for these sliders um, to be able to actually get to the bolt holes, but the bolts pretty much line up perfectly. There's two separate holes, just depending on where you want the, the slider to sit, but um, the little release button allows you to move it up and down so you can get to the bolt hole that's here on the bottom as well. And then these two pieces here are where the actual handle for the slider is gonna attach to. Um, so you just want to make sure that these two pieces are on the inside here on both sides and then the flat part of the slider itself is what goes up against the seat and then what we're going to end up doing is having the mounting bracket going through uh, these two holes here so just want to show you guys quickly that piece of it for just for getting the sliders on themselves and then we'll show you once we get the bracket on and how everything looks together so we got the little pull handle on. You can see the way it's angled kind of up. And it just goes into those two pieces on the inside of that 
like we showed you guys before. We did kind of just like hammer it in place a little bit just because the way that things were bent, but it's in place, it's functional. So now we're gonna get the mounting bracket put on and show you guys that. So we got everything mounted on one seat. As you guys can see, with three these three holes here, everything lines up with the middle hole. Everything's lined up perfectly. The bracket goes on pretty, pretty simple. Um, just making sure, you know, you're doing the passenger side with the passenger side seat and you know, vice versa, but everything went on pretty simple. These sliders were really the biggest pain in the butt, but everything else was easy. So now we're just working on this seat and then we'll get those installed and show you guys the final product. All right guys, so we got the second seat done. Uh, just one thing to point out. So these bolts here, you wanna put the washer on the nut side and put the bolt in from the back just so you can fit the Allen key in there. And uh, these, if you try and put these washers on the inside, uh, they won't fit. So washer goes on the nut side and you know everything gets tightened down and it lines up pretty perfectly. So these are uh, planted technology um, seat brackets which came with the Brom seats. Really good quality stuff and you know, as I said, everything lines up. So now we can uh, go through the process of getting these Make sure all the our bolt holes and stuff for the seats are all good. Colin did have to go in and uh, basically drill a hole on the passenger side where there was some rust repair. But we're gonna go and uh, make sure these holes are all good on this side now, and then we can get the seats in place. So both seats are now in. You guys can see, still just rocking the plastic on them because there's a couple other things that we got to do. There are the harnesses that have to go in um, which we got to figure out a couple of mounting points for and then also the harness reels that are going to go around the harness bar so that's pretty much the last two things everything's in um, got to fix a couple of the bolt holes just because probably from over time and stuff they're just they need to be uh, re-tapped some of the threads are a little messed up so once that's done seats are completely bolted down and we can take it out for a ride and kind of see how they feel and stuff but that's pretty much everything if you guys have any questions on anything you just leave a comment down below and uh, yeah I mean for the most part it did take us a while almost you know the whole day but it wasn't too bad um, the hardest part was one cutting the holes for where we we're gonna put the uh, the bars for the harness bar through um, the side panels and then just putting together the uh, the sliders and stuff for the seat but other than that I mean it wasn't too bad the seats look really good and they're comfortable and Colin actually fits so that's the biggest thing that was the biggest concern with the seats so yeah that's pretty much everything and uh, like I said if you guys have any questions just leave them down in the comments below so as you guys can see, the harnesses are installed now. Uh, let's see if we can get this spot. So we had to make another hole into the carpet. Um, and this eyelid bolt just threaded right into it. So the harness is connected on um, this side. The inside uh, is not in place all the way yet. Um, it's hard to kind of see, but down here is the bolt hole. The eyelid bolt the thread doesn't fit in that side so Colin is getting the bolt re-threaded so it actually sits in there um, but everything else harness wise is all set up I believe they're ASR harness reels just a cleaner look obviously than the zip ties and stuff and if you guys can see that there pretty simple they just kind of roll up into place if you guys can see the spot here where you know the harness would typically sit inside um, with both of the reels in there, it, the harnesses kind of just sat like too close into the into your chest and stuff, not further out into your shoulder as they kind of should be. So Colin just set it up like this, and and they sit pretty well. Um, but that's yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Colin also got this carpeting floor mats um, that he put into place that are actually pretty nice. Um, these imperial ones, but yeah, everything is done now interior wires just give you guys a full shot of the seats like i said before if you guys got any questions with anything you know just leave them down in the comments 
for the most part everything's pretty straightforward as as far as the install with this stuff yeah that's that's pretty much it for this colin's got a couple other things to do with the car we're trying to uh get some stuff figured out wiring wise right now um but yeah that's that's it for the install so we got harness bar seats harnesses um the harness reels and yeah that's everything so anything that we didn't cover in this video um if you guys got any questions like i said just leave them in the comments and uh we'll see you on the next video